It was a rocky afternoon across the Piedmont Triad as severe weather rolled through, some dealing with strong storms and hail. A viewer in Greensboro sent us this video of hail falling on a deck. In fact, hail covered the ground, looked like snow in parts of southwest Greensboro, especially the area near the West Wendover uh, Interstate 40 interchange. Well, you see those pictures in just a few minutes and those systems that brought hail for some brought strong winds and down trees and some close calls to other. This is video of a home in snow camp in southeastern Alamance County where a tree fell. You see the woman, she lives there. She says she was just about to walk into her bedroom when she turned around to get some coffee and that's when the tree came down. Thankfully, she was not hurt. It did break through the roof a bit, but it is not major damage. It came out of nowhere and I looked out the window and saw the rain and the wind just twirling like a tornado. I didn't know if a car ran into the trailer. I don't know. I didn't know at the time what had happened. She will be able to stay there, but not in her bedroom. Thankfully, no major injuries coming out of Alamance County tonight. And tonight, though, we are hearing of more damage in the snow camp community of roads blocked off. Good evening. Welcome to the 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8's Daryl Matthews is on Greensboro Chapel Hill Road in Alamance County where roads are blocked off. Daryl, what are you seeing out there now? Katie Neal, it's been a whirlwind of a lot of bad weather today, but most people are sustaining a lot of damage. Right behind me, you see a whole bunch of trees and it's just covering, but behind those trees are a home and the people are not in there at the moment we suspect because all the lights are out. And if you look on the ground, we're going to point to the ground a little bit. You see all these tree limbs and there are even some downed wires on our way. Now, tend to homes have some type of damage after this afternoon storm and this is coming from the Alamance County Storm Information Center but Katie Neal I want you to see what one of these 10 of the 15 homes have to endure right now you see a big tree blocking what is Greensboro Chapel Hill Road this is why this road is blocked off mainly but right here this home has got some serious damage. If you can see this big tree, it's about the size of two people literally ripped out of the ground. Katie Neal is unbelievable how big this tree is. It shows how big that storm was. It's literally going into and crushing the home and underneath it, it is two cars that have also been crushed. Katie Neal, we also checked the Duke Energy website and they are suspecting it's restored about 2 a.m. Live in Alamance County, Daryl Matthews, Fox A News. Yeah, that root system is hu huge. Thank goodness nobody was injured. Daryl, thank you. And 